everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Happy 4th of July to all those people in America and all those people who want to celebrate with fireworks or explode thingies, you know, explodey thingies in the sky. We are starting with a anime expo. This is their booklet, the one that they give you, the guide, whatever it is. Uh, someone that's already at Anime Expo is my guess. Uh, they are looking at it and they have, you know, we're hiring this this uh, angle people as well as Summer Jam at Peacock Theater. Now those are done. They're finished. They're not going to actually happen. But I am sure because Anime Expo is such a big event, they had thousands and thousands and thousands of ones to print out. And that would mean that they would absolutely have to uh, print them out this way and have to make sure that they are printed out before the whole damn thing starts. Uh, AX definitely not happy with this. Hopefully this is another door that closes permanently for any color. Considering that the booth is still up and running, unlikely that AX will close their doors completely in Niji. However, they may be hesitant and Niji wants to do another big concert like this, of course, because, you know, they're out of money as well. They look bad, but, you know, it's... It's a risk that you always run when you're doing anything with any other organization, but it should not be a risk that should be taken, lightly at least. In my opinion, it's simply not worth them to go through the hassle of removing their booth and finding someone else to replace them. Needy probably already paid for the space. I mean, the wild thing uh, would have been to get an official Doki and Matara Mint summer collab booths as replacements and watch Matara like beg for momos and height neighbors to save for sanity. Probably, probably something like that would happen, honestly. I'm going to send my resume to La Single. Uh, OS, La Single is hiring. A Steam is bad for uh, VN. Got to see that panel, exactly. Uh, not m enough time to change the materials, it seems. Expo's pretty much starting today. Tomorrow, today is the first day of the Expo, usually. Uh, depending on where you live, since Niji announced that the con cancellation of their concert one and a half weeks ago, I can imagine Anime Expo just did not have enough time to change things around. They're not. They're not going to have enough time to change their booklets. It's hundreds of thousands, in many cases, booklets that have been printed. You get one with each pass that you have. You know, the daily passes, all that kind of stuff. You do get one. So that is something that does happen. And it sucks that they had to be stuck with a place like people like Nindy Sanji. This is about as much of a nothing burger as you can see, but I'm still going to cover it because there are some people who are going to be doing uh, and mentioning some weird stuff because, of course, they will. Of course, they're going to be doing this. Anna responds to a quote retweet talking about how Quinn, aka Kyo, and she's following him too. Uh, basically, you're cringe, you spin the wheel. Haha, uh, -ha, you're so wrong for this poor bestie. Uh, the punishment wheel, I'm guessing, is what it was right there. Looks like it was a punishment wheel. Not surprised one bit because other than Millie, Kyo Quinn is a close friend of Anna's. Remember in one of the streams when Millie and Anna kept trolling and gaslighting him from different directions? Yeah, they're close friends. The only real surprise is that uh, she said that as Anna and not as a different account. So yeah, that's the only real surprise is that they're not hiding it anymore. Uh, hiding that they are friends with ex Niti Sanji members. They're not hiding that part anymore. I guess that would be the closest thing to a, a gotcha or whatever it is on the whole situation. Uh, but yeah, it is not a surprise overall because... Anna has been a friend of Kyo for a very long time uh, since they were both in Niji Sanji. Now that he's Quinn, of course, the friendship is not going to end. It's just interesting that she said it on her main account, I guess it would be. Either Quinn is not persona non grata or is closely observing what Anna is doing on that Twitter account. Yeah, who knows? But I think it's just, you know, a friend talking about a friend. Here we have the death spiral that is Niji Sanji. It's going crazy. It's going down again. These stockholders are probably panicking, and I am going to show you some of the panic that at the very least some of the ones that are on the uh the niji sanji the any color stock stuff on yahoo some of their things that are going on death is definitely knocking at the door isn't it well not death necessarily but it's going back to the 2200 that it used to be because if you remember the stock buyback was particularly to give the opportunity to people who are wanting to buy the stock I wanted to sell the stock now that they had bought it at a low selling it at a high and that's all they were doing it for uh and it didn't last very long it didn't last very long. It lasted probably, you know, a couple days after they finished the buyback. It started going back down because everyone was buying, was uh, selling everything that's going on. Of course, there might be a buy after this, but it's gone 350 Japanese yen down. That's $3 or so around there, uh, two or three bucks or so. Uh, oh, no, Digi holders don't look. 
2434 is near. Man, at this point, the buyback is almost akin to performing CPR on a dying brand, except CPR is meant to work. This one does not work. How nice of Riku to inflate the stocks that the remaining investors can regret that regret not selling when it was high. Another chance to sell. That's exactly why they did it. And here is, you know, a little bit more of this. There's a, there's a downturn, downturn, downturn. There was a little bit of buying here. Red is when it's going down. Green is when it's, it's being bought. And, and red is when it's being sold. So you get a little bit of idea of there just being a lot of selling. Uh, it's down to the level of quarter three from hell. Publication, no sign of reversal. Ugly, a candles. Uh, the only annoying thing for me is that it affects cover stock too. Yes, because everything is tied in the stock market. So cover gets affected sadly as well. Only been a day and it took that big of a tumble. Talk about negligible buyback. Exactly. Uh, any cutter was at 24.49. And I'm going to show you right here how it actually is. It's going here. Uh, 2453. Uh, it is staying one day. That's one day, but the five days, what I usually like to look at more, it was from 2785 when the buyback was going on to now it's back to 2400. Uh, it is going to continue going down, I think, because people are trying to get out while they're ahead. Even if you're making 200 yen on the purchase, you're still at least getting your money back and you don't have to worry about losing any more than you already had. And here we have some shareholders which are expecting a merger in the near future. I think EN will be integrated next year. There are a few active listeners right now, active people, you know, watching and things like that. We have another one here. EN is bad. This is from the same Yahoo uh, finance area. Quarter four stopped slightly from three, third quarter because there was an event. But except for the event, sales decreased by more than 20%. And I think it was very minor. First quarter also erased the anime expo. So it's not strange that even more severe numbers may come out. A lot of people are expecting bad numbers to come out for the quarters coming up. Of the 30 billion in three years, 7.5 billion has already been used up. And what we are waiting for is the first quarter of the forecast of declining sales and profits. And various events have been postponed or canceled. And there's a possibility of further downside. It will break 2000 in 199 IQ. This company is really only looking at now. Yeah, they are. They really are only looking at now. That's what, unfortunately what they do. Uh, sisters, even some I took as neutral party and focused on numbers, try to sell. Then EGN is following the usual trend downwards. And the boycott had barely any effect. But of course, they ignore the fact that NGN had to burn everything they had on the shelves. 3Ds, concerts, refurbish, AR Live. Uh, yeah, they had to do everything they could to try to save quarter four. And that's the only reason quarter four did okay. Harsh, especially considering NGJP is only growing in terms of much re revenue. Pray for my soul. Use Microsoft Wedgie for the screenshot, which is the one that I showed next year. Maybe, but I think it might be faster than that. Yeah, the whole merge might be faster than that. Um... We have, of course, people here saying, you know, the average any color stockholder experience. If you like any color, it's worth getting your hands on one. Magical experience. I get a headache every time I pay. <laughs> uh, magical experience of getting a headache. I don't think that's a, such a good magical experience, honestly. Riku is the only one who voted. Don't think so. Uh, LMAO. Watching the ardent supporters and trading gurus from the previous week's message. Board turned into bashing any color or moaning about their stop losses. Today, it's truly an experience. It truly always is an experience to see these things because um, they are getting kind of, they're just desserts when it comes to these things. They decided to invest in a company like any color. They're going to see the consequences of investing in a company like any color. An update on the figures uh, if for anybody that's interested. Uh, some may or may not be. This is all of these right here. Bonus and Alouette, 34,000 yen. Kaneshiro, Alba Knox, Ilir Pandora. They're all there for pre-sale uh, on AmiAmi for pre-order. If all this hadn't happened, I would have been extremely ecstatic about this. Even now I have the urge to pre-order and his figures. Man, how did things get to this? Exactly. That's the, the point I want to make here is this is good merch. If they hadn't done what they did in regards to the, you know, crappy treatment of their talents, the fact that they, you know, Doki Bird attempted, uh, the fact that they canceled a bunch of different shows, all that kind of stuff. If it wasn't for all that stuff popping up, then this would have been an amazing thing for a lot of people. A lot of people would have been happy to buy. I possibly would have even bought one of these because they look really, really nice. For once, they make a quality merch, but it's too late. Would have been also true for me if Reimu statue missed the Fantomo days, but those are all pretty good. What's the figure you're hiding, OP? Might be see-through lingerie Chizuru from Rents a Girlfriend. Time to bring out the jar. Fitting for your namesake. Uh, at least happy for Alban. Brand, any color. So basically, no brand. They're outsourced sculpting and paint. Freaking cheapest route. For anyone here that never owned a single figure of their life, what you see in the image in the pro is a prototype. If you mass produce that prototype, we're basically talking about a different figure now. That's reputable companies exist, like Good Smile Company, to ensure the quality. So this looks like what they're saying is that this is like prototype being sold as regular. I don't know. 
And it doesn't matter. The fact is, no one's going to be buying this, sadly. At least not as much as they should normally do. Because if they were much better at uh, PR, then a lot more people would have been buying this. More bad news on the Nidhi Sanji end. It's kind of not surprising at this point. Because here we have something going on with the uh, exhibition of life-size statues. Apparently, there is a shipping issue. They will be delaying the arrival of them. We apologize for the convenience. Please stay tuned for updates. So they can't even get that part right. That is just unfortunate. That is just messed up. Why do they keep mess messing up like that? It's on brand, very on brand. Would be even more on brand if they don't turn up at all. They're not asking ChatGPT to write an excuse regarding that. Yeah, it's like, could happen one day, uh, one delay could mean a lot of people will already not see it since they might be going on just the first day of the court, the con there. So that is the issue. It's just, they can't get anything right. First, it's the, you know, cancellation of the big concert now it's this whole situation they can't really get any breaks can we blame this and the mini missing hoodies on nico nico too uh feels like bringing them over to ax was a rushed decision you normally want the figures in the country and inspected for damage ahead of time in case if they need to be fixed in case if you need to do of course a, a insurance type of thing that's the whole thing Honestly, at this point, I generally feel bad about the remaining Niji fans that are normal. How are the NDF going to blame the Niji antis for this? Logistics sabotage, hacking, convoy raids. I'm convinced this is a GD company is cursed now. It is very cursed. They get to set and use literal ship instead of a plane to send those statues. Of course, they're using the cheapest way to do it. They might have tried to convince their CEO to lend the yacht. That'd be funny if they did. What kind of stuff is going to become a new normal for Niji Sanji, more than likely. Unfortunately, for anyone who was looking forward to this, you're not going to be able to see it if you were there only on the first day. The memes, Mason. I do absolutely love the memes here. This is a bit of a meme. New 10,000 yen Bill Motoaki Tanigo, born December 10, 1973. Japanese businessman. He's the founder of Cover Corporation. That'd be funny if they actually did that. Of course, they would never do that because that's a government, uh, basically government-provided uh, monetary thing. You must check the comment. It's a joke, but I just thought I'd share it here as well. What's the comment say? Basically, it says it's a joke. Uh, it is a joke image you can see from the serial number. It's a collage of the photo, new 10,000 yen note. But first unveiled, it's not actually issued. It never would be issued because it's a government-issued bond type of thing, which is, you know, that's what money is. Underneath the joke lies possible sad reality of Japan, where VTuber corporations are far more trusted by Japanese over the country's own government. That happens a lot, not only in Japan, but in a lot of places. But yeah, it's, 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 it'd be funny if it actually happened, though. Riku's eternal labor, any color stocks, trying to push it up. Yes, trying to prop it up with uh, buybacks and things like that. It's not going to work, Riku. You're not that smart. For all those who don't know, Hololive and the LA Dodgers are going to be doing a Hololive night. I think it's going to be within the next couple of days. And it is going to be fun because, of course, they're trying to do this to cross-pollinate both sides. A lot of Japanese people like Dodgers. They like, well, not necessarily Dodgers, but, you know, they like a baseball. Baseball is very popular in Japan. And, well, of course, a lot of Japanese and others like VTubing. So LA Times, it being, you know, Los Angeles Dodgers type thing, they did pop in with uh, something that says, Shaikin, how guard girl VTubers could help Dodgers further tap into Japanese fan base. First, Wawa getting random KFPs to care about Austria versus Turkey. Now this, of course, it's sports. Sports is always popular everywhere. And here is the actual LA Times uh, posting the article. And here's the article here. A little bit of things here. It says, I'm a sharker from the city of Atlantis, so I'm to the surface to hang out with you guys on land about 9,000 years ago. Been told I have a heart of gold and a head of bone. I have a long history of saying and doing ridiculous things on the internet. Gura, she could just call her Gura, will be shouting the out the traditional, it's time for Dodgers baseball, exclamation at Dodger Stadium on Friday. Except, of course, she won't be there. She can't be there. She'll be displayed on a screen where younger generations spend most of their lives. She's what is called a virtual YouTuber or a VTuber. So now they're going to be going through, you know, the VTuber part. Stream online, but you don't stream your actual face. You stream with virtual avatars, said Max Kim, a U.S. sales and licensing director for Cover, the Japanese company that controls 85 such avatars, including Gura, that combined for more than 82 million worldwide subscribers on YouTube. Gura is the most popular VTuber in the world. Her YouTube channel has 4.5 million subscribers. That is more followers than the Dodgers have on YouTube and Instagram. Now, some people are going to say, oh, yeah, there's other ones that have more, but she is one that started out as a VTuber and is still a VTuber now. A lot of people who have more who have, have changed into VTuber forms 
were flesh tubers before and then they became VTubers. Already popular and they then they became VTubers. So that doesn't count in my opinion. So let's continue. Just announced Friday's promotion featuring Gura and our other fellow avatars. It's going to be Suisei and Pekora if I'm not mistaken. Trading card sets will be distributed Friday. Already are on sale for as much as $125 on eBay. Promotional t-shirt with Gura in the Dodgers uniform with a shark tail sticking out are on sale there for as much as $195. Scalpers will be scalping, of course. For cover and a signature Hololive brand, the Dodgers promotion is one step in a campaign to broaden the appeal of VTubers beyond the fervent core of Japanese young men. Of the viewers of Gura's YouTube channel, half are 24 or younger and 9, are t and nine in 10 are male. Dodgers pitcher Yoshinobu Yamamoto is 25. Hololive avatars have appeared in promotions for Japan specifically, in which Yamamoto played from 2017 to 2023. Showed him a picture of Gar Gura, and he asked if he recognized her. He said he did not, because, you know, he probably recognizes more the the Japanese side. Goal is to make sure that people know what VTubing is, Kim said. Ten years ago, the whole concept of streaming was pretty strange. It was not really existing. Now we accept that as a normal means of communication and entertainment, like what I do. It's basically saying, you know, cover is no different from a lot of places. They're trying to ex expand. Uh, said the company would have pursued collaboration with the Dodgers, even if the team had not signed Shohei Otani. We have our interest to expand in the U.S. market. They have their interest. I'm pretty sure Dodgers will have their own thoughts behind this collaboration. They declined to share them. The Dodgers declined to comment for this story. In December, when the Dodgers introduced Otani, President of Baseball Operations Andrew Friedman said this, One of our goals is to have baseball fans in Japan convert to Dodger Blue. And that's smart. It's, if, is it possible the Dodgers could win new fans in Japan by tapping into active activity, which is wildly popular among Japanese fans? Yes, because already there are a lot of Japanese VTuber fans who are probably already... Uh, involved with um with baseball because as you remember on the nidi sanji side you already have people watching koshien and other things like that as actual streams on nidi sanji so it's not hard to believe that this is going to work for them this is a phase connect jp viewer uh kind viewer sponsored a horse race for grand pico's birthday so i guess they sponsored a horse for the race is what i'm thinking uh here we go <laughs> グラムコ、お誕生日記念、2歳新4クラスの一戦。Oh, no, パドックからは5番カラスキューピー、4番ホルモンの方たちにも番屋競馬を知ってもらえたら嬉しいと思っています。この会に カナダも含め海外のリスナーさんも多いのでこの機会にその方たちにも番屋競馬を知ってもらえたら嬉しいと思っています。このことで、はい、ご協賛ありがとうございます。すごいですね。ぜひあの今は少しお誕生日配信され
Okay, good. I'm a time traveling fairy VTuber currently in her PNG tuber pre debut. I stream primarily Pokemon content. You can't do that to me. You can't. But I do other games on the side as well. I like RPGs. You know of them? One of the most secretive of all the Daedric cults. Party games. Why did you go after me? You damn mongrel. And just games with a good story. I also enjoy voice acting, drawing, and writing. So that's also very good. Like it's like this they're saying here. They're going through all that. They're a PNG tuber. They're kind of uh debuting a new look soon, from what I've heard. In the process of redebuting, a lot of stuff on my channel set to the old model, but I'm gonna be ignoring the old stuff where it got my start. This is them mentioning it to me. Uh they are sweet, spicy, psychopomp, currently living among mortals. Roll us to guide souls to the land of the dead and have been in prison for a very long time. Inspiration is actually from a favorite Pokemon, which is Dust Noir. Uh, previous model was inspired by Shiny Celebi. Uh, really love Pokemon. So it wants to explore the skies, things like that. Uh, started streaming on YouTube and then migrated to streaming exclusively on Twitch. This is their YouTube channel. This is where they were streaming before. And as you can see, it was nine months ago, etc. when they were streaming there. They are... Uh, had 23 subscribers, hope that they can grow some more. Same thing on Twitch. Currently, they are 120 followers, and I'm trying to help them grow a little bit just by, you know, shining a spotlight. With a little bit of reach that I have, shining a bit of a spotlight on people like that. They stream games, art, chatting. Because they have limited storage, restricted to what games they can play, you know, I, I understand that 100% of having limited storage, having limited abilities to do a lot of things because money and, you know, the actual things that you have. Uh, they do like games like Party Animals, also briefly pay Genshin Impact on stream. They don't really have a stream schedule, but usually they do around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time when they do stream. They do not do daily streams, but um, they try to say stream on the same time when they can. They try to do it as much as they can. So you can find them, check daily, 6 p.m. on this channel over here, Azra underscore Shade on Twitch. What they loved about this is the creativity. As you can tell, they're able to spread their creativity around. She likes the fact that people can make their art content. They can make their art stuff there. They can bring their own side, their own personality to the whole thing. She's very open to do collabs for anybody looking to do collabs with them. Uh, very limited on games I'm able to play, whether it's due to the storage space on the computer or the ability to afford, uh, afford popular games. I feel the same way for me. I absolutely love to collab with people just to limit on what I can do for games. But of course, there's always people to reach for that. They're going to do a fandom podcast with three friends of theirs. Uh, not VTubers, so the, in order to do flesh tubing, it's going to be pretty much just a podcast with their friends being on there with the voices. So that's a good thing. Uh, they stream on YouTube. Uh, the, the friends do. It's going to be a podcast about various things, media, fandom culture, things like that. Uh, they want the channel to grow, which is why I'm doing this for them here. Uh, they want projects where they can have their own games to manage and have a book published. Uh, mainly done this as a hobby, which a lot of people do, including myself. They got a college degree for being an elementary school teacher, and they that's what they really love doing. They want to grow their channel. So please give them some support. Uh, their big thing that they wanted to share about an amazing moment that happened to them was that they had a Nuzlocke that they were doing, which is, you know, Pokemon Nuzlocke. They had gotten raided by someone who sent about 40 people into the stream. First time anything like that had happened. So flustered, not sure what to do. Streamer got finished with a 24-hour stream of their own follower milestone. It's really nice when things like that happen. Um, when other people send raids, that's why I try to send raids. I'm not a huge VTuber myself, but I want to give a voice to small VTubers like myself and other people that I can possibly help with reach. Thank you so much, Azure Shade, for allowing me to feature you on this, for giving me the information that I needed to feature you. And I really, really hope that you grow. And of course, I'm going to have their socials that they have shared with me that can be shared down below so you can take a look at the channels yourself. It's available. Pre-orders are available for Doki Bird's new case. Dream Con True Dragoons, the Doki Bird tomato collection is here. The Y70 Dragoon bundle has the height Doki Bird keycaps, Doki Bird desk pad, and more. So the keycaps for your, you know, your keyboard, if it, if it allows keycaps, it's a mechanical keyboard thing usually. The wall scroll here, the desk pad there, and all these other little things, actual good merch. You know, actual merch, my dudes. Desk pad not included. Source Twitter. Uh, nice. Very conflicted. Do I want the case? Hell yes. Do I need it? Unfortunately not. I'll probably get the desk pad, maybe wall scroll, and I hope it's still in stock when I need a new case. Here we go. Here's the uh, intro to all the stuff Doki Bird related. We had uh, taken a look at this before, but here we go with the Doki Bird related stuff. Uh, the All the stuff you can buy it as, you know, a 
bundle. If you just buy the case, it's just the case. You can buy it with a bundle. You know, you can buy it in the whole bundle. Death Pad not included in the Doki Bird Y70 Dragoon bundle. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. The Death Pad is not included. Okay, my mistake. It's not included. Happened, though. It's in the picture listed below. It looks like it was meant to be there. May have to fix what's included in the bundle and adjust pricing on the site before pre-orders come in. Yeah, they're probably going to do something like that. Or maybe eventually they're going to, you know, do like a, a consolation prize type of thing. But just to be clear, it doesn't appear to be actually part of the bundle. Uh, they probably had intended for it to be a bundle. And maybe they had, you know, certain things that weren't uh, either quality wasn't good or some other things weren't uh, being allowed through. You don't know. You never know. But it is good that they're at least trying to do something to clear things up all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you